just one dog today. We're not going far. We just have to go to the pharmacy because mum's at work and I've got myself a dose of this influenza. I can barely walk to the fridge without getting short of breath. However, Angus still needs his walkies. Come on! That's not far, we just have to go down to that car park you can see over yonder there, maybe a couple of hundred yards. It feels like a long way right now. Angus is all fresh after his bath. I imagine if it rains like it would appear that it's going to, he won't be fresh for too much longer. We've got some visitors coming tonight. So that'll be a nice surprise for Millie and Angus. Their best friends are coming to see them. He loves this area. There's a whole lot of bird poop on the ground. And Angus thinks it's pretty good. Come on. Good boy. Angus had a fantastic time on the main street. Dad's wearing an N95 mask. So as not to make anyone sick. And most people are cool if you just let them know at the door that you're not going to come in because you're symptomatic of respiratory stuff and they'll sort you out at the door. I think as long as you don't act all entitled and like a dick about it. Most people are only too happy to come and help you, especially if it means that you're keeping the bugs away from them. There's a big dog here last time we were here that barked at Angus. I actually thought it was Angus barking. And then I remembered Angus is not a real dog. And he doesn't know how to bark properly. Alright, come on. Angus. Angus. Come on. Good boy. Might change his turn when he sees the duckies. Angus is well on the scent of some ducks. Very much not advisable to go in that water today. Mostly because I'll be so annoyed that I have to go in and get him out. We got all the way down the main street. It wasn't feeling too bad. And then we went to the pet store to get some veal brisket for our house guests. And to the pharmacy to pick up some meds for my flu. And as we've been coming home, I've really run out of steam. So we've taken a few breaks. We tried to get an Uber and they said no, no dog. Which is completely fair enough. But I could have used the lift. However, we're only about a kilometre, what's that? 0.6 of a mile. And just drinking the gross duck poo water. Meanwhile, the fancy dog spring at home goes untouched. Maybe if I got some duck poop and put it in it, he'd use it. 
All right, we've got to go home and guess let's go.